Hey guys, it's John, Small Town, Small Time Bookseller, uh, here with another video. I'm going to try to uh, put this out tomorrow, which will be Monday, at Sunday night right now. And I'm going to try to get through one, be able to, to, to put it out tomorrow. So that's uh because that's because that's what i do if i don't do that then then what am i where am i who am i if i don't at least do the video because i don't do garage sale videos i don't do yard sale videos i don't do the gopros you know at the good old bins or looking at my hands like a row of of uh, small boys washed and dressed in, a, in an intolerable state of discomfort <laughs> Don't do that at all. So I just sell books on eBay and some, not not all, not all books, mostly books. But when I sell them, I'll come and tell you about them. That's it. So we're going to try to get through this one. This will be kind of a shorter video. Um, you're welcome. And uh, so we're going to get into this. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. To, uh, this, this video is going to cover through the end of November 2023. I want to get caught up to now because I'd like to talk about stuff that's happening now. I had a really good sales weekend, which is wonderful. I had um, between Saturday and Sunday, uh, nine sales. So five books, four not a books. And I've got an offer on that book right there. That right there is um, Family Circus. Family Circus. Is that what that's called? Family Circus. Family Circus. The little circle one with Billy and, and Dolly and all them. Um, yeah, that's right. Uh, and it's, uh, I've got, had it listed for $50. It's like a larger, you know, hardback kind of a, a comprehensive type of book. And, um, and somebody offered me 35. So I'm contemplating the offer. Don't know if I'm going to counter, probably going to counter. I might counter at 40, might counter at 45. I'm not sure. But, uh, even without that, that one, uh, nine other sales, so I was pretty happy about the, the, the this weekend. So things are seem to be picking up. Not a lot of high dollar, you know, ones, but uh, but lots of stuff moving, which is which is nice. So we're gonna get into what's sold. Uh, this will be November twentieth through November thirtieth. Um, it looks like it's gonna be a total of twenty one sales, uh, seven not books, fourteen books. So about a two to one average there. All right, you ready for this? I think I am. I don't think there's anything else I need to cover. Oh, how about my hat? This is Auto Barrel Racing, right? And if you would like this hat, um, I'll have it listed after tonight. And uh, five bucks for viewers, so no matter what ridiculous astronomical price I put on the hat in there. If you just say you're a viewer and you want the hat, five bucks for shipping, and it's yours. So... Hmm. I think this is like all designed, right? I think that's supposed to be there. All the little holes, I think it's, uh, I think that's supposed to be there. But if you're into auto barrel racing, you can have this hat and let everyone else know. Uh, anyways, all right, moving on. Moving on, to how about starting? Okay, starting with the first sale. As often is the case, it's a Q-Link uh, SIM card. I'm down to probably a handful of these. I can't wait till they sell out of them. I'm tired of them. They, they give me a couple bucks each time, but I'm I'm through with it. I've also got a lot of questions about them, which I don't know the answers to. I get them, uh, you know, people ask all kinds of questions. I'm like, I am not affiliated with the company whatsoever. Call the 1-800 number on the back. And so I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm through with it. All right, the next one, EKG ECG. Interpretation made easy. Yeah, sure, it's easy. I either sold this one before or might have sold it and it got returned and it's the same one. I'm not sure if this was a second copy of this that sold or if it's one that got returned. But anyhow, it sold this time for $10. And then we have the Mystery of Iniquity. Uh, a fiction novel by Richard Glenn sold for $10. I don't sell a lot of fiction, especially not modern fiction. Most of the fiction I sell is is vintage, classics, things like that. But this is one here, The Mystery of Iniquity. And then, um, oh, I had two more Fenton slippers sell. So last video, maybe the one before that, I had these Fenton uh, glass slippers. And I got a lot of uh, feedback from y'all, which I really appreciate. And I did a little research on my own, kind of verifying it. 
Um, and uh, you were right. The, the, the comments that I got seemed to all be correct. So thank you for the for helping me out. So and the question came up because I had uh, like four or five of these uh, glass slippers. And all but one of them were marked with Fenton, but one of them wasn't. And so I had listed that one as in the style of Fenton. And so I got some a recommendation that you shouldn't do that, which I kind of agree with that. They, you know, you shouldn't put something as in the style of, because it could be misrepresenting what it is and that eBay doesn't like that, or is there where I could see that maybe being true. Um, but as it turns out, Fenton prior to 1970 did not stamp their, their pieces. They just put on a, a sticker, an oval sticker with Fenton. So some of these pieces I had had that sticker and this one did not, but a sticker could easily have fallen off in the last 54 years, you know, or more than that. This is, I don't know, you know, this was prior to 1970 when they, um, sorry, when they did this. So, um, I, I can be pretty certain that that piece was also Fenton, uh, but, um, that's what brought about this. So prior to 1970 sticker. After 1970, it's actually stamped in the glass. And then if you even go further than that, um, when you get to the 80s, it has Fenton with an 8 underneath it. And if it has a Fenton with a 9 underneath it, that means it's made in the 90s. And if it's a 0, it's made in the 2000s. So uh, thanks for all your help with that and, and uh, help me out figuring out that Fenton stuff. So they weren't great sellers, you know, but I picked them up for a dollar, probably a dollar a piece, maybe two a dollar or two a piece, um, and I sold for them for 10 to 12 dollars. So, this time period, I had a pink, um, cat head, uh, Victorian shoe slipper sold for 10 dollars, and a blue one that sold for 11 dollars. So, you know, they're not great sales, but they sold uh, pretty quickly. So, it must be a pretty good market for Fenton out there. All right, moving on, we had a a paperback, vintage paperback of Steppenwolf by Herman Hess. This was a 13th edition from 1972, and it sold for $12.50. I'm still trying to figure out vintage paperbacks. Which ones sell, which ones don't. I look up a lot of them that are worthless, and then something like this that surprises me that it has pretty good sales. Um, I'm still learning. That's one of the, the aspects of this whole thing that I don't, can't get a, get, get a grasp on is which ones uh, sell and which ones don't. So I'm looking at the ones on my shelf right now. I'm like, why? Why does that one have value and the others don't? But I don't know. Um, always learning. Um, next one we had was God's 11 Secrets for Sex for a Lifetime of Passion. Religion sells. Sex sells. This one is probably going to sell. So, and it did. And it sold for $13.50. So, uh, moving on, we had Silent Night, the story of a song. Um, 1943, vintage hard covers, sold for $15. Um, not actually about the song Silent Night, though. This is actually about the song Girlfriend in a Coma by the Smiths. Interesting. Bet you didn't know that. Um, so moving on, sparkling gems from the Greek, 365 Greek words to study to sharpen your vocabulary or something like that. Sold for 13, no, oh no, $15 on that one, uh, sold for 15 bucks. Um, and then the next one, we had a book of poetry, 108 Savasana poems, blissful words from the heart of yoga, sold for $15. A lot of books on yoga do sell, not just the exercise part of it, but the spiritual spirituality part of it as well will sell. Um, next, we have the National Forest Camping by Ultimate Campgrounds. Now, this one is, I do, I know this is the second one. It's over $15, and this is the second copy of this that I've sold. Um, so that's a good one to pick up if you ever find it cheap. And then I had a uh, another not a book. This was a hat that sold the 2007 World Series Colorado Rockies versus the Red Sox um, hat, and that sold for fifteen dollars. And um, a oh a, a autobiography, not autobiography, a biography of Tolkien 
by Humphrey Carpenter, sold for seventeen dollars. Um, lots of things Tolkien related, uh, sell not just his books, but books about him. I recently sold a a, a CD that was um, uh, somebody just giving a lecture about Tolkien. So you never know anything related to Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, or J.R.R. Tolkien is definitely worth looking up. Um, then we had A Thousand Days by Arthur, Arthur Schlesinger. This is in 1965. Uh, this is about uh, John F. Kennedy, and it sold for $18.50. A lot of things related to Kennedy that are from his time period. Um, they made so many of them. I see the, there's um, a book I can picture right now. I can't remember what the title is, but it's like... He, it's a book about you know his presidency or about the the assassination. There just must have been so many made that they just don't have a lot of value, which always surprises me when I see a book from the '60s about Kennedy. I'm thinking, oh, this is probably gonna be pretty good. Generally not, um, but you know, obviously the popularity remains. So there's a chance that you might find something that's a little more rare or unusual uh, that you might find some value in. But a lot of the stuff. Uh, does not have the value that I would think that it should. Um, then we had, this is a dotted bullet grid journal um, notebook. So for $20. So uh, blank notebooks, um, like sketch pads, things like that, can sell pretty good. So some people are pretty serious about it and they want a particular size, a uh, particular kind of paper, different things like that. So Blank notebooks and things. Definitely look those up. They can they can sell as well. Then we had another hat. This is a cool looking one. The Amphibious Force U.S. Seventh Fleet uh, baseball cap uh, uh, sold for twenty four dollars. Is that a cool looking hat? I thought so. Um, then we have this one. This was so the Alexander's care of the patient in surgery. Um, why this one sold, I don't know, because this is from 1987. So in my general thinking of things, it's not current. So the information on how to care for patients in surgery is probably not accurate. It's not old enough to be really cool. You know, I mean, it's from 1987. It is a first edition. So maybe there's some collectability about it. Maybe the, the author, uh, Grundemann and Meeker, maybe they're well known in certain circles and that's why this particular book is collectible or desirable. I don't know, but I did sell for $25. So that's one that I was surprised about. All right, next one we have Stiff, the story of a record label, 1976 to 1982, sold for $35. Uh, books about unusual record labels um, or Recording studios, uh, things like that from uh, the 70s or earlier. Look them up. Yeah, I think definitely those are things that could definitely sell. This one did. And uh, then we had, uh, so I picked this up at the, the thrift store or thrift shop, whatever it's called, the one near my work. And it was just a bunch of uh, Cricut uh, cartridges. Eight Cricut cartridges, which are fonts and shapes, um, sold for $40. So uh, people love the Cricut machines. My wife does. But these are older ones that have the cartridges. Uh, I don't know. I didn't know really what they were. When I saw them, I looked one of two of them up, and they seemed to have some value. So I got them for, I think, a dollar a piece and uh, sold them for 40 So I was happy about that. This next one I think is probably the most interesting find. This, so I was at the Goodwill bins and I see a whole bunch of these. These are programs from the Lombardi Award dinner. Uh, and the Lombardi Award is an award given by the Rotary Club every year for the best college lineman. And there are certain criteria that they, they go through to decide who gets this award. But it started in like 1970. And this was a copy of, this was 11 programs, so 11 different years. Uh, somebody had gone to the Lombardi Award and they kept the program from it. So it had little um, 
biographies about lots of different players, some very well known, some gone in the Hall of Fame career, some you never heard of before, but it's interesting to see like who was up for the award each year. Uh, and so that one sold for $40 for 11 of those programs. And then the last sale um, is this. I had seven of the eight volumes in the Book of Life, the Silver Anniversary Edition from 1951. So I had volumes one through six and eight. So I, we've talked before about if you're missing one volume, you could uh, look it up, buy it, and then have the complete set. I didn't bother with that with this one, um, but I just sold them as, as I had them, which is one through six and eight. And so they sold for $50. And uh, so that was uh, interesting there. Um, and that's all the sales for this time. So that got us up to what? Seven Nauta books, $147.75, which is a $21.10 average. And the books were 14 books for $256.50, which was an $18.32 average. Um, so there you go. And like I was saying, usually I try to find something else to talk about, but I'm not going to today. So I uh, appreciate all your, 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 your comments. Appreciate all the new subscribers and I uh, hope that it's okay. We do it this way this time. Uh, trying to get another video out next week. December was a pretty good month. And so we're going to try to at least get through that pretty good and, and you know, catching up here if I can do put one out weekly and uh so thank you all very much and um yeah hope to see you uh sooner rather than later adios hey uh just I was just you know wrapping up the video and I hear a little voice and I had totally forgotten about November 19th and November 19th is over and what about me what about me and so I got to go back November 19th, I sold three things, and that didn't get on last video or this one. It just kind of, I cut it the wrong, you know, how it goes. But I sold this. Um, the Autodesk Revit 2022 for $45, which was a nice sale. And I also sold a copy of Cyrano de Bergerac, an uh, Eastern Press Collector's Edition. Big difference between the, some Eastern Press books go for hundreds of dollars, and these Collector's Editions sell pretty well but they're more in the 20 to 40 range Cyrano de Bergerac sold for $35 and then I had another hat a Shiner Bach hat sold for $10.80 so with those in the mix that brings it back to my books sold at 16 books for $336.50 $21.03 average and my Nauta books now have eight sales for $158.55 $19.82 average. So there you go. Thanks for sticking around. Aren't you glad you wait till the very end? You got those uh, little, little extra right there. Sorry about that. All right. See you next time.